Hello and welcome to Cougars Den. I'm Tyler Crivier alongside Cougars Athletic Director Beth Clark. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's start off with a recap of this past weekend. How did our teams fare? Uh, well, actually, our futsal teams were the only ones that played this past weekend. Unfortunately, they lost all of their games, but um, I heard that they were really good and, you know, they were on the road and that's not always easy. So the regular season is almost complete for 2018 and 19. Playoffs are just around the corner. How do things look for potential playoffs for our Cougars teams? Our volleyball teams are actually headed to the MCAC Final Four this Saturday. So they're playing at Providence University. Um, they're both seeded fourth playing the first place team, which is Canadian Men Night University for both men's and women's. Um, you know what, our women's team, they swept them last time they played uh, two games straight. So they have a real shot if they put it all together. And um, our men's team, they're young, but um, they have flashes of brilliance. And if again, if they can put that all together, then They've got a real shot, and it's single elimination, so um, it's anyone's game. At as the our time. women's volleyball team is poised to enter so the our playoffs play today, Tyler Head had a chance to speak with Erica Scott. Why did you decide to join the Cougars women's volleyball team? Um, well, first I came for nursing, so that was a big part, and then the program was looked really awesome when I was getting recruited, and I wanted to further my education and still play volleyball while doing it. What are your hopes for your team going forward with the remainder of the season? Um, well, we have Final Four coming up this weekend, so we're playing CMU, and that's a really big game for us because we swept CMU a few weekends ago, so I think it's a really good opportunity, and I think that we're really going to take it to them. Well, we wish you all the best here at ACC in both your schoolwork and your time with the Cougars. Thank you for joining us. Let's go back to Tyler and Beth. Thanks. Thanks, Tyler. So Beth, the women's volleyball team has a bit of a hill to climb. What's going to be the key to the Cougars' success in the Final Four? Well, you know, they've always been um, a team that's focused on tough serving and good serve receive, and so um, that's obviously going to play into that uh, for them. But, you know, when it comes down to playoffs, it's really about a team effort and having everybody show up at the right time and performing you know exactly where they need to be so they've beat this team twice before um, so it's definitely something that they can manage the men's volleyball team is in the final four as well and tyler head had a chance to speak with fernando choro of the cougars men's volleyball squad what program are you taking here at ecc i'm currently taking business administration what position do you play on the volleyball team I'm playing setter now. I used to play libero, but I've changed. What would you say some of the highlights have been for you being involved in athletics here at ECC? Probably meeting new people, especially your teammates, because they're, they're insane. They're pretty funny, and they're just great guys. What are your hopes for your team going forward with the remainder of the season? Our goal right now is to beat CMU, and we want to take it one day at a time. we got to focus on each, each team. Well, we wish you all the best here at ACC in both your schoolwork and with your time with the Cougars. Thanks for joining us. Let's get back to Tyler and Beth. On each of these segments, we'd like to showcase ACC's Athlete of the Week. Who have you got for us this week, Beth? This week, it's Kendra Mansoff. She played both soccer and futsal for us. Obviously, it's futsal season right now. Um, and despite an injury within the first five minutes of play, you know, she just persevered and she scored the lone goal against Red River. And um, she's really a, a diehard, passionate player. And so um, she's definitely deserving of our Athlete of the Week. Awesome. We're near the end of our time today. What Cougars action can we look forward to this coming weekend? Well, as we mentioned, volleyball are on the road. They're in the Final Four at Providence University Saturday. The women play at 1, men play at 5 o'clock. Um, those should be live streams, so check um, our social media for that link. And then our women's hockey team, actually, they're on the road versus Minot, and Minot's ranked 1 right now. We're ranked number 2, so um, they, they need to pull out a win this weekend. That'd be pretty big for them, and um, it'll be exciting to, to see them play, too. Definitely lots of action to look forward to this weekend. We'll be back next week to recap the scores and standings and bring you more news in the world of the ACC Cougars. Beth, once again, where can we watch these games online and keep up with the scores? 
Again, our social media outlets are usually where you can find uh, the most updated information, our Twitter, um, we've got Instagram and Facebook. Uh, they will be live streamed, the games at uh, Providence University, and we're hoping to for Minot as well. Um, so Twitter is probably the best, uh, most up to date to check us out, and that's Cougars ACC. Awesome. Thanks so much, Beth, for joining me today. I'm Tyler Crivier, and we'll see you next week right here on Cougars Den, here on Newsline.